I actually listen to it at work and I don't dare to listen to it before I sleep. Noel is the king of Singapore paranormal. <laughs> You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. She could actually see see things and that freaked her out. The minute I turned off the light, she screamed. She was like, oh! The following night, the same thing happened. The music continued playing. And then I felt hair like uh, sweeping my left cheek up and down. This is your host, Noel Boyd. Hey everyone, welcome to our Christmas special. My name is Noel Boyd. My name is Indra Sahib. And we have a special guest with us here in the studio. Uh, everyone, meet Sher Ting. Hello. Am I right? Is that how you? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. man! I Welcome mean, to Haunted Hour. Yeah. Welcome to Haunted Hour. <laughs> Excited to be here. <laughs> yeah. This is our Christmas special. Yep. And uh, I think what's awesome about this is uh, that we you know we are coming to you on a public holiday. We're not live. Right, we have done this on the twenty third of December, so that's two days ago. But then, mm. you know, I couldn't commit to being live because I celebrate Christmas. Yeah, yeah, holiday season, eh, bro. Yeah, with the family, man. Yeah, who go live, man, on 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 Christmas Day? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done it on your own. <laughs> I want to celebrate my my holiday. Yeah, yeah, man. Right. When is that next year? No, man. I I want to celebrate my well deserved twenty fifth of December holiday, oh, man. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm referring to that. Okay. Yeah. No doubt you also will ce- celebrate that festive season. Of course. Spending time, you know, with your family and friends. I also want to enjoy that that, that holiday that the, the government uh, entitled us to take, man. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, guys. We like to thank our following sponsor. Uh, they're mm. really awesome, man. So if you love fresh seafood all right it doesn't come cooked you have to cook the seafood at home uh they are called get alive seafood they've got stuff like the boston lobster oysters asari clams tiger prawns mud crab if you love chili crab you love cooking that at home well you know these guys deliver on saturdays mm. and we think it's the perfect way for you to get your family together so visit get alive seafood.com they are on instagram and also facebook yeah yeah nice. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so because this is a Christmas app, right? So mm. we're going to talk about angels later on. And you know what? Uh, being a paranormal investigator for like the last 13 years, right? Mm. So I believe in ghosts. That's one. I don't know whether I believe in angels, but this lady next to me, well, she believes in them. So she's going to tell us more about angels later on. Wow. Then, yes. I... I feel like I didn't start off believing. It was only after I started meeting and that, that's when like, I was like, oh shit, like, meeting? they're real. Sort of like, you kind of meet them. Oh, you see okay. them and stuff, yeah. Right, right. Are, are you kind of like nervous to tell off, uh, to tell about your, your, your side of story? A little you bit. Really like, like, <laughs> I'm not used to this. Yeah. Try to oh, save it. it yeah. Try to take a deep breath. Hopefully everything will go smooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I'm sure everything's going to go smooth. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, and we also have good news for you coming up later on. So watch to the end, okay? We're going to tell you about this contest that we have. We're going to give away a K2 meter and also other good news. Mm, Nice. So, yeah, we're going to talk about angels. But first, we are going to go into terrifying trivia. Yeah. Can we have the first photo, bro, of Alcatraz? Alcatraz. Wow. It's the legendary Alcatraz. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, so (laughs) these two stories I'm going to tell you, right? Mm. The... um, revolve around Christmas, right? So the island of Alcatraz, it's off the coast of San Francisco, and it has a long and spooky history. In the earlier days, Native Americans used to banish wrongdoers to the island. Mm. So this was uh, as punishment because they believed that the local spirits would traumatize these people. Wow. And of course, later on, it became the most notorious federal prison. And this was in 19 and thir- 1934. Mm. I believe this is one of the first maximum security prison ever built. Yeah, it was back, very... Back, back in the old days. Eh? Yeah, and mm. it was very difficult for people to break out of. Yeah. So, um, they had criminals such as the very famous Al Capone. Wow. Right? So... But man. The Birdman, yes, yeah, Birdman. exactly. Uh, today, visitors to the island, uh, they report hearing screams, they hear clanging of metal doors and the sound of voices within the walls. Mm. One of the most famous tales 
occurred in the 1940s when Warden James Johnston held a Christmas party at his residence for the staff of the prison. And mm. then, you know, so they were partying and all, and then it stopped when an apparition mm. uh, of this entity with mutton chop whiskers and a grey suit appeared. Now, the temperature in the room dropped and then the fire that they had, the fireplace it blew out. And then uh, it everything returned to normal mm. after this entity disappeared. Wow. And then the guards were too st afraid to stay at the residence. And then so the party ended. Wow. Mm. So that's Alcatraz. There, there, there you go, man. Mm, there's not a lot of ghost stories about Christmas, but I found mm. one more. Mm. And this is the haunted dining room at the Crescent Hotel. Take a look at this photo of the... Crescent Hotel. Mm, spooky, man. Yeah, it's in Eureka Springs, USA. It was mm. built in 1886 and is rumored to harbor numerous ghosts who seem to be uh, very playful during the holidays. Mm. So one Christmas, the staff came down to set up the dining room only to find that the Christmas tree had moved to the other side of the room. Oh my God. Yeah. And then another year later, all the menus in the dining room had been scattered all over the place. Visitors have reported seeing groups of ghostly dancers clad in Victorian style clothing and they are dancing around <laughs> the empty dance floor. Why, why is this funny? No, no, to you? Man, it's, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Ghost dancing. Oh my God. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I find it quite amusing. Lah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I would be amused as well because you can think of so many other ways for ghosts to be scary. Yeah. And then you see dancing ghosts. And they dance. They dance their <laughs> way to fear you, man. To inflict fear. <laughs> yeah, just realize something. Yeah. You're not wearing the Haunted Hour t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Because uh, my Haunted Hour t-shirt, I think, uh, get, I mean, it's still in my laundry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you do laundry at home? <laughs> not very often. Not right? often. Uh, not very often. You know, guys, uh, sometimes once a month, they do their, their laundry, right? <laughs> <laughs> But you have, you've got a helper now, right? That just came. Just what came. is this helper doing? Not, nothing, man. So far, nothing. <laughs> I think I, I, I should get a refund. Eh? I should get a refund from my agency. Yeah, either that or fire her. No, yeah, yeah. no fire because it's Christmas. Yeah. 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 Do it like the day after Christmas. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to do a segment and it's called Real or Fake. Yeah. Uh, this one is, well, it amused me. I, I don't know whether it's real or not, but hmm. let's play the video. Let the viewer judge, eh? Mm. Mm. Okay, so this is real or fake. Now, this video was uh, uploaded on the Travel and Living, right? Travel and Living channel's uh, social media page. It's on their YouTube account. And what you see coming up first is, uh, let it come up first. So this guy, apparently he is he's taking this video while he's on a plane. And then something zooms by and then it rattles everyone on board. And then uh, you'll see it again. We're doing it in slow motion now. Look yeah. at that. They pause the video. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Look at that. What do you think that is? It To me, it looks like Santa Claus and his reindeers. <laughs> right. One more time. One more time. It's coming right up. And then there, there you, go. you go. What the heck is that? That can't be a flying jet, man. Mm, no. It can't be a flying jet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it looks like reindeers. I, I see the antlers as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, I mean, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a train, looking like a figure, mm. right? Am I right to say that? Plus a plus a like like the small cabins in in between. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, do you think that is Santa Claus? Uh I think that is a uh, green screen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like how this studio is. I think that is a uh, visual effects. <laughs> I, I think we can probably do like uh, this little Santa Claus zooming by as well if we want. <laughs> <laughs> or drop, drop by the sky. <laughs> what do you think? It does like, on first impression, it does look like, um, you know, the rain, uh, Santa Claus and his reindeers. So you mm. can kind of see the antlers. You can see the kind of like the body shape and then there's a, a final cut where Santa will sit at the, at the end as well. As well. So yeah, I yeah. Think it does look like it, but I also think it's effects, honestly. But can you see the center or not? Just no. No. Santa usually wear red, right? Am I right to say that? Uh, they will wear their red costume, right? Yes. I don't even see any red costume visible. 
in that image. Yeah, but because it's dark, right? Yeah, but it's contrast, right? Red, black, contrast, like how your your your, your t-shirt haunted hours. Yeah, People man. People can see from far, man. Contrasting. <laughs> I know. Contrasting. <laughs> okay, so real or fake, Indra? Fake for me. Fake. Mm. What about you? Fake. Fake. I think it's fake. I, I think it's real. Mm. Because I know that there are children watching this so boys uh, and girls don't listen to these two people <laughs> they, they, they they've got no no Wait. imagination nothing Santa Claus is real and that was Santa I'm sorry uh, boys and girls I think I have too much negativity I think so <laughs> adult life things mm-hmm. but man it, it's, it's, it's debatable uh. man uh, and this happened during during the Christmas uh, period right I believe so. Yeah, probably, and it w- it would happen during during the winters. Mm. Yeah, so there's my there might be high possibility Santa might have visited them. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, so let's drop this real or fake segment. All right. Uh, I chose the wrong video, man. <laughs> okay, but before before you drop yeah. it, before you drop it, right? Have Have you ever have a real encounter with a Santa Claus before? No? Don't say that you go to a shopping mall. My my mom make me take a photo of your Santa Claus. But for 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 whatever your experience, <laughs> why are you doing this, man? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just asking. Since you you post a video, right? So maybe you have a very personal experience. Um, I I know that my daughter will probably be watching this maybe six mm. years from now. So my answer is yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. It's an honor, you know. I think I think <laughs> I think for for whoever get a chance to meet uh, Santa Claus, I think it's not they want to meet Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus want to wanted to meet them actually. If 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 we, if I may put it <laughs> that manner, lah. I guess. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to talk to her. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk about your paranormal experiences. Mm-hmm. When did it all start? Okay, there's like. I consider that two starts. So, the first time I ever saw something was when I was 18. But then, the whole like, supernatural roller coaster, right? It's mm-hmm. only started when I was 21, which was last year, start of last year. I was interning at this office. Um, the office is pretty active. Like, I'd say, you know, it, it's a small like company, but I'm pretty sure at least half of the members there have had some sort of experience. Mm-hmm. So, I started seeing things there. There were two main entities. Um, what kind of main entities that you see? Okay, uh, I saw a man in a meeting room and he, it, everything was very clear. The details were very clear. Like uh, his hairstyle, what he was wearing, what kind of pose he was in. It's not um, like, you know, your typical shadowy figure, that kind of thing. Mm. It looks like an actual person except that I couldn't see his face. There was just, it's, it's like, this is all blank kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, so I saw him. I mean, I was like, that. That was kind of like the first official sighting. I was like, what? Yeah. Right. Um. I told my mom about it. So at that point of time, my mom had like started a BBC first. So at this point of time, um, at that point of time, she could sense everything in the vicinity. Uh, for example, we uh. We were driving on the way back to Tampines. We mm. were in Sime, just entering Tampines, and she she started like um, feeling a bit uncomfortable because uh, she sensed that there was something um, downstairs, just downstairs my house. And right. we were like a good five ten minutes drive away, but she could really sense it. So mm. that's kind of how wide the range is. Wow. Um. So I told my mom about it, and she was like, "Hey, let's let's test something. You know, you go to the office early. You take a a video of your office surrounding. You send it to me. I mm. see if I can sense via video. I sent it to her. I didn't uh, I didn't tell her." much on the details and she was like okay that I, I sense that there's two entities in here I was like no way because that's what my boss told me because he's been in uh, at the office for a while mm. um, and then on the because when I said it was about 10am so she was at work I was at work so she kind of just briefly looked through the video and she stopped uh, and then on that day itself at about I think 4pm 5pm I was just at my desk working it's like a long desk for two people mm. but the intern next to me already left Mm. So there's no one beside me. The main icon is uh, up here on the right in the middle. 
Um, windows are not clo- uh, not opened. Okay. There's no fan. Uh, no nothing. And there was just maybe like two, three of us left in the office. So I was just writing. I was just doing my research. And I saw, I very briefly corner, my, mm. corner of my eye, I saw a lady standing at the end of my table. Mm. She looked quite young, 20 plus. Not from this era because she was wearing a chong sum. Chong sum, okay. Black chong sum with gold like patterns, gold designs. Wow. Her hair was... Uh, like this length like to the jawline and it was like curly and you know so her parting is like she had a like a side parting so her hair like falls this way right mm. technically I should be able to see this part of the face because her hair falls like this but I couldn't see anything here it was completely just blank oh. I saw her really quickly what's funny is that um, 6 past 7 my mom's uh, off work she she was taking a bus home she, she got a seat so she was, free. she was looking through the video again and she said Okay, you, you've seen the man before. Mm. So we know for sure there's a man in the office. But I think the second one's a woman. I was like, mom, I think I saw her already in the day. Mm. But yeah, that was when it all kind of started, I would say. And I mean, the way you describe it is like, whatever you see is very detailed. Yes, you know? usually it's very detailed. Like yeah. um, hairstyle, like body type, mm-hmm. roughly what age. Uh, you get a very rough vibe as well. Like yeah. if they're bad news or not. Um, like even... What's on the clothes? Mm. Like, is it polka dots? Is it does it have a collar? Is it sleeveless? You see them for a split second, but all these details are immediately imprinted uh, into your head. Like right. so far, all all the entities that I've seen, I have I don't think I've ever forgotten one yet. It's oh, just wow. so weirdly imprinted, you know. You just don't forget wow. these kind of things. Do, do, do you have a, a like a photographic memory or what? No, no, no. That would be Amazing, very convenient, man. but Amazing. it's kind of weird. Yeah. It's only when it comes to this kind of things, then it kind of gets like it really just stuck, uh, sticks with me. Mm. When we started talking, I think this was back in July, right? And I think you told me that you went for a course, right? Yeah. What is this course about? Uh, okay, it's called Light Body. Um, so I've kind of been out, a little bit out of touch with like the course and says because there's COVID and everything and. Um, at that point of time, I was like a, quite a little bit into a course, so I can't really remember the essence of it. But there's something about um, raising your awareness, like kind of pushing you up, uh, kind of something, something about consciousness, pushing your consciousness mm. up, mm. Uh, meeting your inner masters, uh, stuff like that. So it it really isn't anything specifically supernatural. It's just spiritual. There's no religion involved or mm. anything like that. Yeah, I was just about to ask you that. Mm. There's no religion mm. involved. They kind of try to cater it to you. Cater it to your religion in just a little certain uh, small aspect. Okay. Mm. And what's the price for something like this? Um, Are you allowed to say? I'm not sure, but I can't are you allowed, remember either. Honestly. Are you even allowed to say who's the master is? Inner master. Oh, inner master, yeah. Uh, yeah, because uh, what what they say is that every everyone actually, you have your own inner master. Mm. So it's it's not an, like an actual person. It's just... No, uh, I mean, the, the person who or, actually conduct the course who... Uh, yeah, they have a few like facilitators to oh, kind of help out. Yeah. Okay, so there's a there's a whole like sort of... So there's no of. there's no grandmaster involved? I don't think so. They they never really introduce themselves. Really. They're just like, oh, um, this is a facilitator and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. So uh, if I'm not wrong, it was brought in from the US actually. Okay. Yeah, it came from the US. So right, right. So there's um, like a lot of meditation involved and it you can you can say it's like active meditation. So it's not like you just sit there. There's like certain things that they'll um you will do. And yeah, it's kind of like active meditation. It's can not you, just sitting there and breathing that kind of thing. Can you can kind of like demonstrate a few? Not really. <laughs> if, if you're comfortable, man. If you're not, then uh, it's okay. I don't think I'm allowed. This is the thing. I don't think I'm allowed. Oh, really? okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, that, see, that's fair. Yeah. Um. What's What's the scariest encounter that you that you have had? Um. Scariest the one the. This is kind of a little bit iffy in a sense that uh. Oh, well, this is this is gonna pull in a pretty long story. So I. I have a friend. She's a, a Malay Muslim. Mm. Her family has a little bit of history with like the like black magic stuff because her grandfather mm. used to not dabble, but he he would go to the Bomo and like he has a few pets, mm. pets. not furry pets, but spiritual pets. Spiritual uh. pets. Mm. So like a toyol or n- 
possibly, but the ones that sh- uh, the ones that I've I, I've seen so far are not toyos. Okay. Th- there's there's one that looks like a spider, but a person kind of thing. It has like multiple legs. I, I have no idea what it was. It, it's uh, my friend was the one who saw it, and then she mm. kind of was like, "Oh shit!" Then she drew it out for me. Oh, that would freak me out, man! Yeah. I have a phobia big, of spiders. How big? <laughs> how big is that 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 figure? I I well, I don't know because she know. she drew oh, it out for me. Now. She's the one that saw it, so okay. I I mm. know for sure that it's a pontian. Pontianak. Mm. Wow. Okay. So, okay. why what? why would you say it is the Pontianak? Uh, well, I heard it from her actually. Like mm. she was the one I said it, until I actually like met the thing that I'm like, oh, because mm. mm. uh, you know that stereotypical like the laughter, the right? Laughter, right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, did she look anything like how they describe the Pontianak to be with the long hair? Yes. The yeah. thing is. Um, I'm I'm gonna go into a detail over now. Sorry, because mm. I think it's pretty. It's actually a pretty interesting one. Okay, so, go ahead. Um, it all okay. So just to lay a little bit of foundation down, mm. I I have a bunch of abilities. One of them is um astral projection. So, let for example, I'm at home in Tampines. Mm. My friend is in Alkang, right? And she runs into trouble. I can check what's going on for her from Tampines. I don't have to be at a place. Wow. So. Uh, that was what was happening at that point in time. My friend can, uh, she has the third eye as well. She can astral mm. project. So, um, there was this one day she texted me like, you know, hey, my mom's running into some trouble. Her her family tends to be a little bit more sensitive. So mm. her, her mom was saying like, uh, you no, know, they stay in a private property. There's like neighbors are a little bit further away. Um, at night, you know, you, the aircon's on, the windows closed, doors closed, but there's this cigarette smell in her room. Nobody mm. in the house smokes. Mm. So she's like, that's weird and. Mm. She figured she'll ask me to kind of check it out for her. So mm-hmm. I asked her, like, hey, you can, you know, check it out yourself. Like, did you try? And she she said she was scared. So I was like, okay, like, I'll, I'll do it for you. Mm. I entered the space and she entered the space at the same time. It's kind of, I, I guess it's kind of like a different dimension, like a, a different realm. Right. We mm. call it the astral realm. So we entered and I saw a old Malay man in a song called, he was just sitting on a rocking chair at the corner of the room. He was just there like chilling. He was he, he didn't really mean anything. So I, I walked up to him and I, I I spoke to him. I was like, uh, Uncle, what you know, what were you doing here? He said, Oh, mm. I used to stay in this area in the 1940s. Mm. And then he he, mm. he actually showed me a photo of his house. Okay. It's it's really interesting. It's like you you actually get shown a, a like a photograph, and then I see like <clears throat> a kind of like a turquoise green house and a, a young Malay man standing there looking mm. very happy. So I was like, oh, uncle, that's cool. But um, I, I told him like, you know, this is now, the, the time is over. This is now somebody somebody's house and you are kind of interrupting them. So like, would, um, could you please like leave the place? And he said no. So I asked him why. And he was like, oh, he doesn't know where to go. That's why he he's not willing to leave because he's familiar with this place. He used to live around the area and stuff. So... Um, when these kind of things happen, right, mm. astral projection, it's kind of weird uh, in a sense that it's like a 50-50 consciousness. 50 of me is here, 50 of me is in the other realm. Mm. So I hopped out real quick, I texted my friend, I told her like, hey, this is what, what's going on and this is what I got out of Ome- uh, the uncle. And we were figuring out like, okay, how? so how can, can we help him? Because typically for me, I'm Buddhist Taoist sort of. Mm. So when I see, when I meet this kind of lost souls, I would go up to like uh, uh, this particular monk mm. that um, has already passed on but there's this ability to just kind of connect with him to talk to him so I'll ask him for help to bring these souls to where they're supposed to go but this uncle is Muslim uh, it's a bit weird if I ask a Thai monk to ask, uh, mm. come and get him so mm, yeah. I asked my friend who's Muslim like what can we do for him and mm. she said like uh, you know I'll try praying for him to, f- to get to a place so mm. but she was texting me that suddenly she was like I think there's something else. Like in, like, because we were technically still in the area. Yeah. So I went back real quick and I focused. Um, my attention basically went from how do we help him to my surroundings because there's something else here. Mm. Yeah. At that point, right, the moment I focused, I, I could see it. I, I could sense it. I could hear it. Like you can feel someone standing behind you. You can kind of see what's going on. So you, you just see this like woman with like long hair and everything. Mm. And then you can hear her laughter just right behind you. Mm. And I freaked out so fast. I was mm. like, 
I just text my I came out, I text my friend, okay, it's Fatima, like, you know, Fatima Rocker. <laughs> like, it's Fatima, and I just left the realm real quick, like, very quickly. Hmm. So all these, uh, when you enter all these realms, right, mm. you are entering it, um, I, I I believe you can enter it at any at any place where you are given. Uh. Am I right to say that? Yeah, it, it's like um like that. Just kind of you snap if, and you. If let's say yeah, just Ooh. like that. If let's say let me just just an example. Mm. If let's say you are sitting next to Noel right now, mm-hmm. if you are entering into a realm, mm-hmm. you might bring Noel along, right? No, uh, <laughs> n- no, because oh, I um. I had a worry, you know, when I was doing all this kind of, I had a worry. So I asked, like, an inner master, like, mm. how do I make sure I properly cut off the connection? I properly, like, get out of that place. So yeah. he kind of taught me a way, which is, like, to have a door. Mm. So if you want to get out, you open the door, you get out, and then you close the door. So it's, sure so it's only you. You can. Yeah, you are the only, only one me. who can open the door, and you are the only one who can enter the door. I, I might just say that. There was something that entered with me, mm. so I kind of opened the door and I pushed it back, <laughs> closed the door again. Uh, so I, uh. the thing is, um, for safety measure, I kind of made this own hall, like mm. a, a small hallway for myself. So mm. there's two doors. So okay. I exit. Mm. I open the door, exit, and then I close the door, and then I walk past this hallway, and I open the door, and that's me coming back to this space, sort of. To to this reality, lah. Yeah. So mm. it's like a double lock, sort of. Mm. How long do you have to walk through that 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 space, or It meant compared to real time. I don't really know, but it's very quick. Like, cause I feel like you know, physical distance, like things like time and distance, mm. mm-hmm. isn't as restrictive in that realm compared to here. So I I've see. actually dealt with things from 20 over years ago. Like, mm. let's say mm. something happened to my friend 20 years ago, and she 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 talked to me about it, mm. and I feel like okay, this thing shouldn't be roaming around, right? And I I asked like. Um, I ask for permission Like can mm. I go after this And I say okay And I man- I and then I track it down And, and I've managed to Kind of Do something about it And obviously With regards to distance um, I've been to Japan Just mm-hmm. extra projecting I just somehow Ended up there So Yeah that's that's one of it Like even though I'm at Tampines I can go to like Amokyo Aokang Woodlands Extra projecting I mean correct me if I'm wrong Is not something really Have to involve negativity with ghostly encounters, right? Mm. Well, in my opinion, I think it's about like being able to to see entities in a different light. A- am I right or wrong? Um, what would you, uh, what you, what would you mean by a different light? Yeah, when when you do your projections, right? Mm-hmm. It's like you being able to to see things differently, I guess. Uh, because I I don't really understand. Um, like what? What do you see when when you do this? Is it in different colors? Is it um, a whole different world? Mm. Oh, okay. So, yeah. um, I astral projection is actually a very deep topic per se. Like, there's yeah. a lot to cover. That it is possible for um, a person to let's say um, enter. Okay, let's say uh, using a, the the Friend example, let's say she stays in Hokkang, right? I've never been to her place. Mm. So if I actual project over, right? What I'm shown is just a a, a house that I'm familiar with, the interior mm. of a house that I'm familiar mm. with. So and then the ghost will be like, let's say it's to a cupboard. It's just a rough blueprint to tell me where is this thing, okay, and stuff like that. I don't actually, I don't see. But you cannot like, teleport there, right? I mean, I mean, this is when you said just now. I mean, I'm sorry to interject mm, here, yeah. a bit. When you say just now, when you you even extra project yourself to Japan, mm. that is some sort of like like tele- teleporting, right? S- sort of yes, mm. but um, continue back with that. It's just that I don't see the actual space like how it looks. Like let's say I've never been here and mm. I'm at Tampines and something happens here. That's what lah. I cannot see the exact layout. Like oh, there's a green screen here. There's mm. a there's a light here. But yeah. it is possible. It is possible. It's just that I'm not at that level yet. Yeah. Like. Uh, oh, there have been things. It's it, called it astro. Possible. Yeah, it's oh, called okay. remote traveling or something. You wow. actually see wow. everything properly, that like, kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, I I did meet this man once, mm. and I got to know him through a friend. Mm. So we were talking and all, and then you know he was telling me about him being able to do this, and I didn't really believe. Mm. So he asked me for for my address, and then I I told him, and then he asked me to write it down. So I did, and then he told me exactly what he saw in, in the hall. 
Wow. He could describe the clock. He could describe the very old sofa because the sofa that we have in my mom's house, mm. it's from my grandfather's time. Wow. Yeah, the clock from my grandfather's time as well. Wow. To the tiles on the floor because the tiles are very small, right? Mm. And then they, they make up this big... Uh, uh, it's like mosaic, yeah. mosaic tiles. Uh. Yeah, yeah, mm. exactly that. So this guy could do mm. that. And I was like, wow. Wow. Yeah, so nice. so I I thought that's awesome. Um, you've had experiences with with angels, but before we go into that, let, let's mm. try this. So you stepped into our studio. Mm. Do you feel anything? Okay, I haven't checked, but I can check like right now. Sure. This will be interesting. Hmm. It's not in the place. It's like like kind of right outside. It, it, the kitchen's there. Right? No, the the kitchen's this side. Okay, I mm. see. I see. What I see is like a what looks like a kitchen, right? And there's you know this kind of like window grill. Mm. So it's showing. It's kind of showing, like I'm looking out from the window. So okay, so it's like outside, like outside the house. No, it's outside the house. Like right out, probably right outside. And what do you see? It looks like an old man. Mm. Um like in his seventies. Like white and grey hair, mainly white and grey. Um he's balding here. Like mm -hmm. there's no there's no hair here, it's like shiny hair. Mm -hmm. And um you know the typical like old man clothes, kinda like the collared shirt. It's it's like a cream white collared shirt. It's uh, short and it's wearing like brown slacks. Mm -hmm. Sarum? No, it's like brown slacks. I think oh, his, pants. Yeah, pants, okay. like slacks. Um, yeah, I, he's kind of like floating, so I don't really see his feet. Okay. Wow. He's just kind of like doing this, like, you know, the, the he's just kind of like hands on his back, just kind of like wandering around. Mm. Can you literally see his face? And if, if you do, can you kind, kindly describe? Sort of like mm. I mean you, you know um he he's also like wrinkled and he just he looks pretty neutral he's just like doing his own thing mm. um what it's a bit of, difficult to describe what kind, of, what kind of ethnicity that that you see in his face Chinese I mean, Chinese Chinese, Chinese. 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 Okay. okay do you know anyone that resembles this person he, this he's he's entity? like his kind of mouth kind of is, is a little bit like more like downwards kind of thing like okay. you know like this mm. way is he skinny or like quite powerful now or uh, skinny definitely skinny mm. okay mm. Nice. He, he's, he has this like kind of like just natural a little bit more of a sad look to his face right mm. not that he's actually sad or anything it's just uh, how he looks I guess mm. Mm. wow you, you're pointing at me bro. Yeah. does anybody come <laughs> to mind I don't know no I, I don't know Okay. I mean, I have to take quite some time to actually digest this. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they move around pretty... Actually, they move around pretty often yeah. when everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, the, like entities don't usually stick to one place unless yeah. they have unfinished business or it's mm. a sudden death. And then they, they, they're just stuck in that in that time, you know? Mm. And then, yeah. So they just keep repeating the last action they did just before they died. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I just want to ask, I mean, mm. like this kind of entities, right? Are they able to move from one house to another house? Yes. Even though that the, the next house is is, is far away, right? Far away and doesn't he had no experience in that house before? Or oh, he or she? We we've had actually something like this happen. Mm. So but this I, I don't know if like on their wheel I don't know if on their own they will do that. But this did happen a, a couple of times with my mom. Yeah. So back at the old office, right? We were moving out already. And I think the moment on the day itself, we were moving around. Right? Things started flooding in, really. Mm. Like all the entities started flooding. It's, it, the, the, the building is all yes. Mm. The, the other units have no problem. It's just this one unit. There's just something about this one unit. I don't know what they, they've done before, but... Mm. So, we were getting ready to leave and everything. And then I passed by a pantry. I saw a woman standing there. She was wearing proper office wear, like the blouse, the pencil skirt. But mm. nobody wears this kind of like a formal business attire to the office. We are all like just casual. Slack. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
I was like, who's this? And she's not that Chong Sam lady because the hair length is <coughs> as different and she just looks like from a different era entirely. Yeah. So, um, after I didn't bother much about that. That night, I went home. Um, I, But for some reason, right, she wouldn't leave my mind. I, I watch videos, I read stories, I try to get my mind off of it. Mm. But she's always just in the back of your head constantly. Mm. So I, I just honestly thought like, if you need help, I can't, I can't offer you that. At that point of time, because I could only see things, I I didn't know to what extent. Yeah. I was still very new to this. Yeah. Like if you need help, I can't help you with this. Like please leave me alone. Mm. But um. Oh. Eventually, what happened was that it's it's not actually her fault. It's just that like our energy kind of clashed. Mm. So I was like talking to my I I got my mom to help me with it to kind of cleanse it right. Yeah. So my mom cleansed it and I told her like, hey, you know my boss, um, that time, that night he went back to clear the remaining things. Mm-hmm. It was at night as well. He, so he brought a friend along who can see things. So his um, his friend entered and the first thing he said is like, wow, you're having a party here. There's a lot of them there. Wow. Wow. So I was just casually, since we we're on the topic, I told my mom like, hey, you know this happened that time because I, I'm very interested in cutting. So I, mm. I, I, like, I, I always share with my mom like, hey, you know this happened at that time. I talked to her about it and then suddenly she changed. Like, um, so to elaborate a little bit on my mom, right? She has this, she's not a medium, she's not a Taoist medium, but mm. there is this slight similarity in a sense that um, deities or even uh, masters who have passed on, like mm. mainly the Thai masters because we are very in touch with Thai Buddhism. Yeah. They can kind of guide her along so when they come to her she starts acting like them a little bit mm. uh, if they're old then some, sometimes she'll walk very slowly she'll eat very slowly that kind of thing mm-hmm. um, but she's aware it's like a shared consciousness kind of idea so that happened to her one of the masters came to her and then she was pointing around the living room at nothing and she was very angry she was scolding she was scolding and I was just looking there like what's going on you know and once it was all done after she did all her thing I asked her like you know what happened and she said um, me talking me telling her about a story about the office kind of created that sort of connection because she, she thought about it right mm. it created that sort of connection that let them jump right over to my house oh, and okay. they entered my house that's why he got very angry like you're not supposed to just do this or whatever so yeah it. there have been things like that that, that happened like mm. I tell my mom, she thinks about it there's a connection made and then they just kind of jump over I see. But on their own will, I'm not sure if that's possible. Like by that, uh, on their own, I'm not sure if it, it's, yeah. Wow. wow. I mean, I, I have a very interesting question to mm, ask yeah. you. I mean, uh, definitely, I mean, with this given ability mm-hmm. for you to see and enter this kind of realm and experience it, have, uh, and get in live contact with all of these entities, mm-hmm. uh, does, doesn't all this cause somewhat like unnecessary stress upon you? Definitely. In a sense that like on one hand, mm. it's a good thing. I can communicate with them. I can help them p- potentially and stuff. But yeah. then there, there are those troublemakers. They will give you problems. Like sometimes I get a, a sudden headache or something like that. But how, uh, how, how do you deal with that kind of, that kind of trauma? Mm, I mean, if you're talking about the physical aspects, yeah. right? cleansing just cleanse myself but if you're talking about like honestly speaking this these kind of things do eat into my mental health a little bit yeah I bet man. in a sense that you're like is this really happening because it's quite what, draining, yeah what mm. I see is so different from what you usually hear from other people yeah. what you usually see online so I'm like is this really happening and then you you tell people about it right mm. because you want answers you're talking to people you, you're trying to see like um, do they know what's going on do, can, can they provide you with any sort of info people do try to challenge you sometimes Mm-hmm. People try try to challenge you. Um, when people challenge you, how do you react? Actually, do you like do you react in a very positive manner, or do you 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 stand firm in with what you believe? I just they kind of try to challenge you in a very subtle manner, mm-hmm. but I'll just stand firm and be like, I don't have time for you. I don't have time for your your this kind of bullshit, you know. Yeah. yeah. But and then sometimes uh like you know coming out to talk about this kind of thing, sometimes you're like, do people even believe me? And then it does kind of eat away at you a little bit. You, you kind of get worried about how you look as a person. Like, am I going to look crazy? Does that affect mm. your confidence? Eh? I think that's, affect, that's affecting your confidence. Yeah. A lot. A lot mm. 
You know, yeah. since I started doing this like 13 years ago, mm-hmm. I think, oh no, I don't think I know this for a fact that mm. um, I've given people a platform where they can share their experiences where they don't feel like they're an oddball. Or being shined away. Yeah, yeah or yeah. they go like, oh, you know, what is what if someone judges me because when we read through the, the comments, yeah. right, and then we hear, uh, we read stuff about, you know, what other people are going through mm. or, you know, I get to talk to people like you, mm. you know, and then you have a voice and then, you know, because I know for a fact when people watch like the podcast or they listen to it, mm. yeah, they don't judge because we've got the same interests. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like sometimes you're t- you're talking to your friends about it or uh. you're talking to other people about it because the topic just comes up and it's like you talk about it and you're like very excited but at night, right, that's when it starts to hit you're like, was that a wise choice? Like, should I have talked about that? Like, mm. does it make me sound crazy? You know, I think, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's not about you being crazy or what, no. Uh, and going back to that, the part where you are being challenged by your friends, mm. your peers, who doesn't believe in you mm. uh, it's not the, it's not about who believe what or what we believe in you see it's more about the moral support that we get within our community I guess mm, yeah. if let's say you bring this up to your family members mm. probably you will get the first hand moral support from them yeah right even though if they don't believe in these such things but the the thing that I'm trying to uh, probably open up for discussion here mm. do you think that that kind of moral support for your kind of given ability is mm. very important for you to actually, I mean, we try to, we try to remain sane mm-hmm. in, in, in our community, right? But sad to say, people were, 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 were to see us in a very different angle. Yeah, of course. Right? So do you think that kind of moral support is very important to you? Definitely. I think I got really lucky in a sense that it, this kind of abilities didn't start with me. It started with my mm. mom first. Yeah. Mm. So because my mom's been there, even yeah. though abilities like differ, yeah. She she knows because there have been times where she senses it and then I see it. And then we kind of confirm because yeah. her sensing is not just about presence. She can go into a little bit of details. Like, is it a man or woman? Like, what's what's the ethnicity? Is she like, is, is this um, ghost, Malay, Chinese, whatever? Yeah. So, you there's, that kind of like, there's that kind of like, <laughs> yeah, there's that kind of a, a cross check, you know? So you're like, oh, okay. Um, and then yeah. with friends, like, okay, I, I tell her about it. Right, I told them I, I can do this and stuff. And yeah. sometimes they run into trouble. Then actually quite interesting. Well, this this one thing I wanted to bring out was that the the last time I was supposed to film, right? I think mm-hmm. it was uh on a I can't remember when. You were supposed to film. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we, yeah. Oh. yeah. Before before all this, give like, me mm-hmm. give me some background, Nina. No, <laughs> I think it was no. like June, July. I can't remember. Yeah, but I, I think it was July. On okay, on that day, like he he ran into some problems, so it didn't happen. But soon after, my friend texted me. Mm. Yeah. And she was freaking out. You know, it was like three plus in the afternoon. She was freaking out. She was like texting me. She was like text yelling, you know, like she was texting. She was texting. I was like, what was going on? Like what's, yeah. what's what's wrong? You know? And she said, um, she she took a nap at home. Mm-hmm. Um her her family consists of like, you know, the dad, the mom, and her sister and herself. Mm. Okay. She was taking a nap at home and then she felt someone touch her upper thigh. Wow. And then um, so obviously she's like, oh, and then she kick it away and she kinda of moved away, right? And then mm. she felt some the bit kind of returned to original position. As mm. if, you know, if someone sits down, you can feel the dent. Then if yeah. they get up, you can feel it return to same, the yeah. same position. Mm. Yeah. She felt that and then she woke up and she freaked out and she quickly texted me. Wow. So I I did a check for her and I saw this old man by a window. Mm. He looks very tanned. Um, probably 50s. He's like losing hair a little bit. He, he's very, very skinny. You know, dressed like, you know, the, the kind of uncles you see at a coffee shop. Mm. And... So I was like, angry. I was like, what the hell? Like, mm. you know what I'm about trauma? Like, he, he basically sort of molested my friend as yeah. a ghost, like, while she's sleeping. So that has to be like double trauma stuff because it's her first time encountering something like this. Does, does the ghost have any desire or like... No, I, I, I think sometimes they're very playful. They're, they're oh, I see. mischievous. Yeah. I, 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 the, the only ghost that I, I know that, that disturbed a uh, woman or in fact strip them naked is uh, Hollow Man <laughs> mm. <laughs> what, what is Hollow Man is a movie yeah. if, oh, if, if, yeah. you, uh. if you are born in that generation uh, Hollow Man yeah <laughs> okay come okay, please, but, please. Yeah. Um, so I I actually because uh, I, I know he left mm. so I tracked him down right 
I ended up in a place that looks like Bedok Reservoir. Take note, this is three plus in the in the, mm. evening, uh, in the afternoon. Uh, afternoon. Okay. okay. Afternoon. But the place I entered was at night for some reason. I don't know what dimension that was. Maybe it's the same. I don't know what place that was, but it was at night. Dark. Um, yeah. yeah. So it. Why I say it looks like Bedok Reservoir is because there's a body of water. Mm. And then there's a like you know those like little rocks around the trail. Yeah, I right? see. Right, and then there's like greenery, there's like trees and everything. Yeah, mm. for it those just, for those who are frequent uh, goers mm. uh, to Bedok Reservoir Park, yeah, that's the that's the exact that's the exact layout. Yeah, because yeah, I not. I used to go there for cross country, so I kind of ah, I was like, hey, yeah. this looks like Bedok Reservoir, but mm. I'm not sure if it actually was. Yeah, it was just having a smoke there. I was like, what the hell, you know? Yeah. So what happened there was just like just uh, connected. So I, I just kind of like it's it's kind of like telepathy as crazy as it sounds kind of like telepathy I just mm-hmm. connected to one of the Taoist deities like I think you guys would know as you know the black and white one yeah the mm. Tuadia yeah. thing yeah 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 so I I, I was asking them for help and soon after they came and they kind of dragged him down to hell or something um, mm. but yeah There seems to be a lot of um, ghosts of old men around. Huh? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just about going to say that. I say. See, I yeah. beat you to it. Oh, man. Okay, I think it just happened. Old men always a, beat it. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I think it's a coincidence. I've actually met a lot of like women and kids. Like just... Oh, you do? Yeah. It's just not that. Two, men, uh, two days ago, mm-hmm. Monday, mm, wow. I, I, went to, I went to supper with my friends. Okay. Mm. I was walking down and then um, there's this area where you can see Uh, just downstairs yeah, yeah. I was walking to my friend's car and mm-hmm. I had to pass by that road there was someone said that <laughs> except her head was the wrong direction oh man so I was like okay and where was this place that, that you had supper at like which area uh, we went to Bedok Spies ah. but oh, no spice. but we, we uh, that was like my house downstairs oh okay I was on the way to my friend's car and right, I had right. to pass by that road yeah. wow I mean I would say they're everywhere lah, sort of Okay, since this app is about Christmas, mm. can you tell us a bit more about these angels that you see? Because, mm, I, yeah. I, you know, when we communicated about this, you, you said that everyone has got, it's all, we have our own angels? Um, I'll, I guess I would broaden it and say guardian, own guardians. Because guardian. I, I think it kind of depends on your beliefs and things. Mm-hmm. So, um, I have a friend, she she's a free thinker, but she believes in angels. Mm, right. she, and she has one. Mm-hmm. But then, For let's say uh one of my Buddhist friends, yeah. he kind of like um made a promise with one of the Thai Buddhas, and he has that Thai Buddha who kind of looks over him as mm-hmm. a, like a guardian of sort. And mm-hmm. then for Taoists, I know that if I'm not wrong, everyone has their own um guardian deity who's watching over them. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But if let's say we put we put the religious belief aside mm-hmm. for you yourself, your own experience when. If let's say you 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 from your past experience you ever witness all these angels, maybe, maybe can you like kind of like share that experience on what kind of angels that you come across with? Okay, so I'll start with how I first met the first angel. So mm. I have a friend, she's Christian. Um, she she was part of like the friend group in uni. So mm-hmm. at the point of time, my abilities were still kind of new. So I was just like trying things out. So I was just checking all my friends. Okay, nothing, nothing following her, nothing following her, nothing following her. Her, there's something following her. This one friend. Wow. And, but what was weird is when I do these checks for my friends or people, right? Mm. It comes immediately, you know? Immediately, I see the entity. But this one wouldn't appear. For three whole days, it wouldn't appear. So, mm. I, I I talked to my friend about it. I was like, I, I said like, um, we were just on the topic again. Yeah. And I told her like, you know, actually, there's, there's this thing following this friend who yeah. we know. Mm-mm. But I don't know what it is. It's not showing. It's not showing itself to me, even though it should. I should immediately see what what it was. Yeah. Uh, she said like, then she was just joking around like, hey, could it be an angel? You know, I was like, so I was like, angel. I was kind of like fifty fifty. I didn't really yeah. believe. I I didn't really think much about angels to be honest. So mm. um, when I had time, I kind of checked again and I was like, just asking like, um, you know, whatever's following this friend is it an angel? Mm. And the answer was yes. So I was like, what? And then. Um. Uh, soon after he showed up, I I saw him. He was a very clean cut looking guy. Uh, so the angel, very, the angel's a male angel, lah. Yeah, the ones a the ones a male. Uh, he he was very clean cut, very like mm. well groomed. Um, he was wearing a navy blue like a tu- uh, tuxedo suit kind of thing. Wow. Yeah. And he 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 has this vibe. Just he's he's a very very calm person. Mm. 
Which kind of works because that friend is quite like high. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's, she's quite hyped and everything. Oh. But what, what's interesting is I think maybe the origin of this angel. She, my friend does tarot card reading. So she mm. bought, she actually bought this this deck of tarot cards called, mm. um, I think it's like angel tarot cards. Mm. It was, it's the last of its kind because the, the creators completely stopped really. She yeah. just got it at one, one of her stores that she used to frequent. Uh, she brought, she did bring it to school but I've never seen it because I was just never really interested in tarot card reading. So when she was doing it for my friends, I was just doing something else. Mm. Um, then one day, me and her, we were talking about it. I was like, you know, hey, I've seen your angel and stuff. And then, um, she asked me to describe. I described, okay, he's wearing like a navy blue suit and everything. And she was like, my entire deck is in navy blue. So, so, um, could it be from the deck? Maybe I'm not sure. Right. Um, that was the yeah. I I asked you before whether I had any angels, yeah. and then you told me I have two. Right. Yeah. Two. And then females. I was like, wow, I have two. Yeah, and, and both are uh, females. Two, both females. Yeah. Yeah. One of them is a blonde. Am I right? Yeah, she's very shy. Like me. Are you shy, <laughs> Noel? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm soft spoken. Uh, yeah. So she's polite, shy. Polite, yeah. She's blonde. Mm, yeah. Um, like. That kind of like curly kind of hair, mm-hmm. long oh, curly hair. Wow. She she's like a very innocent, very soft spoken, shy girl. Uh, like blonde hair, blue eyes. She's very pale. Okay. Um, she's like the kind that of wear a flower crown and white dress. That, that oh, kind of a vibe, you know what I mean? Beautiful. And and what about the other one? The other one must be a brunette. Eh? <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> sorry. Yes, yeah, like brown hair. She looks okay. This this is the vibe she's giving me. Like. She's a working mom who works at like BBC News as a news anchor kind of thing, and she she's wearing like outlook a, Yeah, that's, that's kind of vibe. Outlook yeah, yeah, she she's like a very confident, very powerful woman mm-mm, mm-mm. who's like independent, and she's she's what what she's wearing is a uh how do I describe it? it's like a a very light brown kind of dress, like cream cream brown kind of uh I would say office appropriate dress, like mm. a. Uh, she looks very professional, mm. in, like in her job wise, yeah. And she, um, the blonde is a little bit younger. She looks <clears throat> maybe in her in her twenties or even younger. Mm. Okay. Um, the, and then the 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 lady with brown hair, she looks forties maybe about uh, in her forties. Wow. Okay, um, that's cool though. You mean yeah. to have a blonde for to have a blondie as your guardian? Wow! <laughs> Forget about a blonde. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, sorry. yeah. But you know, just like to have okay, two okay. of them. Yeah, yeah. Because I've been in so much trouble before, but I always seem to get out of trouble. Mm. Like I'll get into trouble, and yeah. then yeah. But do you, you think? Know, do you think the uh, the two guardian have have their part to be? I mean, they they, they play their part in your life, in I, in, in multiple events. I mean, I, I would think so. You know. Mm. Not many people know this. Mm. Um, I've attempted suicide like five times. Wow. And all five times, you know, I got out of it like I didn't get what I wanted, you know. It's as if like someone is like holding you back. Yeah. Mm. Especially the the, the the last two times that, that I did it because it was very extreme. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that I'm around today, mm. yeah, that's, that's something I can never explain. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe they had something to do with it. You think so? Can you project to the time that thing happened when maybe you... Uh, am, am, am I... Can, can, uh, do, do, I, do I say it right? Yeah, <laughs> but... Yeah, I, I, I think I understand what you mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think you should though because... Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are very, very dark times, yeah. man. Yeah. A lot of negativity there. Yeah. But one thing I want to ask, I mean, I, I, I think she was going to say something. Oh yeah, you want to say yeah. something? Is it? No, I, I Sorry. think it's possible if there's a supernatural and ent- like entity of sort in there. I think mm. that that's what kind of anchors and brings me back. Oh yeah. So if if there's no connection, definitely you I can't. Don't think I can. I mean, that would be a bit too overpower overpower. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. understand. It would be like a life, a, a mm. very big cheat in life, that mm. kind of thing. Yeah. I I have a very quick question. Mm. Do you think that? Every single individual out there have their own personal guardian. When you say about guardian, right? Does the, does this guardian being shared or 
Oh. <laughs> you know like shit custody you know? mm. no it's not it's, it's not that just that every single individual of us do we have our own guardian or angels from what I'm asking because mm. uh, I mean cons- like every now and then I talk to this this uh, this Thai monk master yeah, yeah. Um, he says yes everyone has their own like guardians it's just what form do they come in like maybe for the Christians who believe in angels they come in from an- angels mm. yeah. but for Taoists maybe it comes in the form of like their garden deities yeah. so it just mm. comes in different different forms and the quanti- and the quantity varies Yeah, mm. I've had friends who have had one angels. Friend, those who have two. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I think mm. I haven't seen more than two so far. Wow! Wow! Nice, nice. Pretty awesome stuff, huh? What's your take on that, bro? I don't know, man. I I don't understand it enough. Mm. But you know, I I would love to believe, right? Whether you talk about guardians, whether you talk about angels, I would love. To believe that it exists mm. because it gives people hope. Yeah. Um, it it for some people they feel a little more protected, you know. Yeah. If if they know that they have got a guardian, for example. Yeah. Like it, it give them the extra itch. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Mm. Wow, it's been very fruitful, man. Yeah. I mean, thank you so much for your kind uh, sharing se- session. <laughs> yeah, always, always happy to share. Yeah, wow. is, is there anything else you want to share with us before we we wrap this up? Mm, okay, I, actually, um, on the way when no one was asking me like, hey, is there anything you want to really talk about? There's one particular incident that um, I think it's pretty interesting. Okay, because mm. I I think most people, um, you know, you talk about ghosts, you mm. talk about spirits, you talk about demons. Yeah. No. Have you guys ever heard of Asuras? What's that? Yeah, what's that? Uh, so, um, if I'm not wrong, they're like one level above demons. Mm. In, in, a, in a sense that these are people who have had some sort of, I don't know if it's the right word, cultivation. Like they've learned something in their life or, or something like that. Mm. Okay. Um, but then they've kind of went astray. Mm-hmm. So, um, in, in like, I think Buddhism, right? There's a whole tier list. Like, mm. you start from, you know, human and then something else, something else. Mm. So, Asuras are the equivalent of uh, what we call Shen, which is the deities. But, flip, flip it around. Okay. So, they are like, the, I guess, like, uh, what I mean by this flipping is that they, they the- kind of have the similar, they, they are in a similar power range as deities, mm-hmm. but they're just, they, they've gone astray. Okay, so so they were once good and then now they're bad. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. they've once kind of learned things, you know, some sort of cultivation, maybe. It's, it's like a similar concept to like Anakin Skywalker. Lah. I might like to say that a Jedi mm-hmm. who, do, who does good mm-hmm. and enter to the dark side and inflict evil. Some, like something, something like that. Something like mm. that. So someone who maybe, um, I've seen, honestly speaking, right, like this is this isn't a jab to any religion or anything, but I've seen monks. Like yeah. I, I'm Buddhist myself, but I've yeah. seen monks who just there's just something wrong there. You just know, like no, I mean, not actual monks, but they've already passed on. I I actually saw one near my house once. Mm-hmm. Just very quickly, I saw him, and when he turned around, uh, yeah. okay, once again, he's not a person. He's yeah. like he's passed on. His eyes were completely red, and there's a there's a there's a there's a like a a ten in Chinese on his okay. ten. Yeah, so it, it's like a cross but not like, you know, the Christian cross. It's like equal on both both sides. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so... Does that number mean anything in uh, in the Buddhist... Uh, um, not not really. Like, I, it, it, uh, I say 10 because that's, that's the best way to describe what I can see. Uh, but I oh, think okay. it's okay, like okay. another eye of some sort that isn't open yet. Yeah. But mm, he had yeah. completely red eyes. There's no red. There's no... White. Uh, white at all. There's yeah. no white okay. at all. Mm. So that's kind of the, distinct, the distinctive factor between for me between ghosts and demons and asuras mm. so I've actually had this one experience I was checking for a friend she's a little bit she's also m- more towards like um, being supernaturally sensitive mm. so I was doing a check for her some, one one time and um, I know that there's something bothering her but I couldn't find I couldn't again it was weird because it wasn't coming in straight away yeah. uh, it, it took quite a while I was like okay you know I'm gonna go down and buy dinner or whatever and I come back Mm-mm. So about 30 minutes later, I saw, I, I entered this cave. Cave? It, uh, it looks like a cave. Like wow. it, it's kind of like 
you know, rocky and it's very dark inside. Okay. And I enter and I see this guy. Mm-mm. He's wearing a, right, a white robe. A more of like white silk robe kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And he's very like, beefy, very muscular. He's very, very pale. He's way too big to be human. Like mm-hmm. bigger than human size. Um, his eyes were, I think, completely red. From now all completely white. Um, he's he's very very pale, skin wise. And he was like chanting something. Yeah, just chanting, chanting, chanting. And um, so he's like, let's say let's say he's in my position. Right? Mm-hmm. There's there are two people in front of him. Yeah, set also cross leg with their backs facing him. Mm-hmm. So they just look completely dazed. They're just like mouth open, eyes eyes open, but the eyes were com- like rolled back completely and he was like chanting something chanting something mm-hmm. so i was like oh no <laughs> this is trouble yeah so you know i was asked like you know i don't think there's a demonic entity and he's like no this is something more than that wow. so we had to like get rid of it now, yeah. mm. Mm. interesting story man yeah man so what was wow. this called again Azu- As- asura, I think asura. A-S-U-R-A. asura okay i'm gonna read up more about this asura yeah. so they're like with the demons, th- this is one level up. Yes, uh, but this is hearsay. What, what I uh, learned from someone else. Okay, mm. I'm gonna do. So my I'm not homework. exactly yeah. sure how accurate that's gonna be. But do they have ranks among among demons? They do, right? I guess. Yeah, I, mm. I mean, I would think so. Yeah. Right. They can't be like all of them of equal power. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. True. Likewise to angels, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do have ranks in, 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 in among them. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Mm. Okay, guys, we're going to um, cut to a segment called Paranormal Popcorn. Yeah. It is done by my wife, Gabby. Enjoy. All right. Let me scroll here and enjoy the video. Hey, everyone. You're with Gabby for another edition of Paranormal <laughs> Popcorn. So when Noel asked me to review a movie that centered around Christmas, I immediately knew which one I wanted to suggest. And that is Krampus. Or in the traditional pronunciation, I think it's Krampus, something like that. So this movie was released in 2015 and is directed by this guy called Michael Doherty. Um, when I first saw the list, like the cast list, I was quite impressed because I like, oh, there's like some really recognizable names there. There's Tony Collette, who played the mom in Hereditary, another fantastic horror movie. Like that's way up there. Um, there's also David Koshner and Adam Scott. Now, David Koshner, you might not know from his name, but when you see his face, you'll know who he is. He's from The Office. He was in Anchorman as one of the supporting Anchorman. And uh, Adam Scott is, of course, from Parks and Recreation. So when I saw the list, I was like, hmm, these actors are mostly known for their comedic roles, right? And having said that, after watching Krampus, I got this very um, Gremlins vibe. You know, like when you watch Gremlins, like, yeah, okay, there's like creatures and evil things. But at the same time, it's quite funny and quite humorous. So that's the vibe I got from, uh, from Krampus. And it's very easy to watch. It's PG-13. A lot of you will be able to, to manage that. I know some friends who are like, I don't go over PG-13. This is for you. And uh, what's the premise of the story is that there's this boy. He's a young boy. He's like maybe about 10 or 11. And he's just having a really bad time. Like he doesn't... Sorry, that's my cat. Nothing paranormal there. Um, he's having a really bad time at Christmas. You know, he's just not seeing the good side of it anymore. So he accidentally summons a demon into their home and the demon is, is of course Krampus right so I won't give away too much because I think you, you guys should go and watch it it's quite a fun watch and it's it's quite short as well so like an hour and a half uh, I did some research into this tradition of Krampus or Krampus his name originated from the word Krampen which is a German word for claw and also he's supposedly the son of the god of the underworld whose name is Hell quite appropriate if you ask me so he's already the the son of the god of the underworld and his name is from a claw so you can tell he's probably not a very happy chappy right so he is seen as the almost evil twin of santa claus he's like the dark side the 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 mr hyde to his dr jekyll you know he's the one that instead of giving children sweets and treats and all he's like kidnapping them and he's putting them in his sack and he's like bringing them to his lair so in a way it's kind of like a boogeyman type of of creature but they still practice this today in Austria and Germany. They have people dress up as this Krampus and then they go around like scaring people. And I mean, I don't know, personally, I don't think I want to be there for this kind of festival because it's quite freaky, especially when you see the Krampus costume. It's, it's a bit dark. But anyway, um, so in the movie, 
the the presence of this Krampus is quite ominous and it's uh, almost like a Jeepers Creepers vibe. No, he's always hovering and he's quite sinister and yeah. So I, I don't want to give away, like I said, too much because it's not a it's not a very like it's not a thinking movie. It's just quite entertaining, but still you should you guys should watch it. And one thing I want to note is that the person responsible for a lot of the soundtrack, his name is Douglas Pipes, he's a composer, and his name is Pipes. I find that really cool. Uh, what he did was he he made this hybrid almost of like twisted Christmas carols. So if you listen to the the soundtrack of the movie, you will know what I mean. Like he he included things like bells and horns, but then he also mixed stuff like bones and animal skin drums. It's quite freaky. And he even got um, choirs to sing in like these very haunting ways and, and in different tongues almost. So that, that part is quite freaky for me. And the scariest scene, to be honest with you, is not really the ones with the creature, although they were quite shocking. One of the scariest scenes was actually the opening sequence when they're showing like a whole bunch of people just rushing into this like department store and then just going crazy. It's, I think, I'm, I'm assuming it's like a Black Friday sale and they're just like going at each other you know, and I'm just like, oh my God, like that part really freaked me out because I don't like crowds. I don't like people acting like that, obviously. Your faith in humanity gets kind of like taken away. So I would say that sequence shocked me already from the start of the film. So I would recommend it. And uh, definitely let us know what you think. And if you have any other suggestions for Christmas movies, I would love to hear it. And uh, here's to seeing you the next time. Bye. <laughs> Something wrong with the audio, but yeah. we're back. Yeah, that's my wife. Thank you so much for doing it, darling. Okay, so the good news, right? I promise you guys the good news uh, in the beginning of this podcast app. Well, we have got a website. It's www.gfs.sg where you can check out all um, our podcast apps are there. Mm. And we also have got um, ways for you, if you want to be on the show, right? You can yeah. apply. You just click that button and then you get to a form, fill it up. If you have got stories to share, all right? We want to post it on not only on our website, but also on our GFS Facebook page. And we might also share them here on the show. Okay, yeah. so uh, we want to share your stories with the world. Right, so you can do that. And uh, we also have a contest, right? I promise you guys a contest. I've got a brand new K2 meter to give away. It, wow. it works. Yeah. Oh, that's really bright. Give a test here, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know these things, bro. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no. So, um, yeah, the, the contest is really simple. The question is, how many years have I been a paranormal investigator? I mentioned this twice today on purpose. Wow. Yeah, so... All you have to do is just choose the right answer. Can that's, I? That's can, a few. Can I join the contest? No. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, that's the one good news. The other one is that this show mm. is going to come to you live uh, from next year, right? Twenty twenty one. Every Friday, we're going to come to you live. Nice. Yes. Did I say let's, that right? Let's do it, people. Unless, unless I've got to serve the country, because you know what I do, yeah. I can't talk about it on the show. But yeah, true. if uh, if if you have something on, we will yeah. we will uh, we'll take a break. You know, we will post post it up and tell you all in advance, lah. Yeah, mm. exactly. But for now, yeah, we're gonna go. We we'll come to you live every Friday where you can interact with us. Yep. On Facebook, right? So certain comments that you leave on our on our on section. our video, mm. yeah, we will put it up on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for you guys. Awesome. Mm. Okay. So that's the good news. Yeah. Um, guys, no bad news, huh? Uh, no, 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 no bad news. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> no bad news. So on the 1st of January, it's mm. when we are officially live. Yeah. And we're going to have somebody in the studio. We're going to start the, the, the year on a very positive note. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, guys, we have got a Patreon um, uh, account. So if you want to be part of our community, please. It's only $5 a month. Yeah. Support yeah, our uh, good cause, man. Yeah, mm. and then it help us, you know, improve like the stuff we have here in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Or can. we can buy coffee. Or maybe go for plastic surgery. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so random. No, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> no, but I, I agree you should change your face. Yeah. My nose, <laughs> uh, my nose. I want to make it longer a bit. You know, like, uh, you know, ho ho uh, like uh, Hindi, Hindi looking kind of like nose. Sure. <laughs> 
sure. I, I know of somebody in Bangkok that can do it for you. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's about it, man. This mm. has been the uh, the Christmas special. Yeah. So once again, please visit our um, website. It's gfs.sg. It's brand new, so we would love some traffic to it. Nice, nice. Yeah, I even got four games <clears throat> that have been listed on the, on the website. Four games that you should never, ever play. But if you do, tag us and let us know how how it went. Play, yeah. play at your own risk. Uh. Oh yeah, this one definitely. Because <laughs> the goals would definitely come. <laughs> yeah, they would definitely come. Well, you know, I mean, I, I think we should wish our viewers and uh, listeners happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays, yeah. man. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, mm, guys. Have, have a good, good year ahead, man. Of course, mm. of course. Yeah, keep safe, man. You know, remember if you guys are drinking, please, please, please do not drive. Be mm. responsible. For those who are drinking, please call the police. They will bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might get like free, free lodging for a while. <laughs> a brilliant staycation somewhere. <laughs> Two days, one night. Okay, yeah, not bad. <laughs> uh. The next day you wake up sober already. Right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You might even get food. <laughs> All right, man. I got to sign off. I got to go yep. home. Mm, me too. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, thank Chi-ching. you so much for being on the show. Oh, mm. Happy to share. Always happy to share. Yeah, we'll have you again one Hopefully. day. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, sign- brother. Yeah, signing off from Haunted Hour. I'm Indra Sahib. And I'm Noel Boyd. See you. Bye. <laughs>